I'm an honorary Kentuckian. When you're a signed up Confederate veteran, you belong any place you are in the Southland of America. I come in hopes that some of these politicians that, that, you, that you have here in the city, in the county, in the state, will show the same kind of courage that the men of the South and arguably the women showed when our homeland was invaded. I came because these folks continue to try to erase that place of honor that folks who look like me earn beside a man he not only called master, but a man he called family and friend. Different people. What brings me out today is America is freedom. Something that most Americans have forgotten what it is that they are, is that just of being an American. It's time we stand up. This is our country. Different perspectives. This statue has been here since uh, 1900. Uh, it's never been an issue. Different walks of life. They don't tell my babies around here in Kentucky during so-called Black History Month about all those black Confederate soldiers who fought with General, with General Lee and his men. Don't take down a monument that belongs as much to the black Confederate soldiers using us as the weapon of choice to do so. That monument belongs to, to Southern folks, red, yellow, black, white, brown. United this Saturday at the Davis County Courthouse for one singular goal, a show of support. It's been great. You know, we, we've been pushing this for several weeks. Uh, we've got over a thousand people on our Facebook followers. We've got a bunch of people sign a petition. I think last we checked it was 1,300 to save the Confederate Memorial. Amid a movement sweeping across the nation to reevaluate and remove Confederate statues that has made its way to Owensboro, a move this day at the center of town to keep it in place amid a looming county vote for its relocation. It's the small steps, because if they go to take this, what else is it that they're going to take? They're going to take everything they can from us. But not everyone who came out to the area of the Davis County Courthouse came out in favor of the statue. Uh, my name is Sean, born and raised in Owensboro, Kentucky. It's shameful for me to sit here in my hometown and have people that are so proud. I don't understand how somebody can be proud of that history. Honestly, I can't imagine why anybody would want to support such a such an event. You know, as a lifelong member of Winsboro, Kentucky, a graduate of Winsboro High School, and uh, someone who really loves this community, it breaks my heart to see uh, so much hatred and, for lack of a better phrase, evil, in my opinion, that has been represented here on the courthouse lawn today. I honestly think just to keep the statue up as a slap to the African-American community, like, to us, it's just like they don't care about us, and I think that is just terrible like we should be cared for and it's ignorant as well because if you really care about everyone you believe that all lives matter then you wouldn't keep that statue up there. Davis County leaders will continue discussing the statue with the community ahead of a planned vote August 6th to decide the monument's fate. In Owensboro, Aaron Huber, 44 News.